a beautiful day to go find a bike trail to explore, and I'm going to do just that. I'm on the road again, this time headed to North Carolina, looking for a little town that's been on the map since 1787. Y'all, that's a long time. This town has been a town since before George Washington was elected president. And I don't know if you know anything about the presidents, but he was uh, he was like the first one. That was a long time ago. This town is older than Keith Richards. We're looking for a bike trail called the Purple Martin Greenway. Looking forward to exploring that one today because that's what we do here at Joyful Trails. We explore, rate, and review bike trails and hopefully find a little joy in the journey. This is Rutherfordton, North Carolina. It's a quaint little piece of Americana that sits on about four square miles and is home to about 4,000 people. So Rutherfordton was named after General Griffith Rutherford. He was a general in the American Revolution. So I know what they were trying to do. They were trying to say Rutherford Town, right? But instead of Rutherford Town, I guess that was too long, that was too hard to say, so they just took a W out. They removed one letter, and that just made all the difference in the world. So now it's even harder to say. Rutherfordton. Say it with me. Rutherfordton. Rutherfordton. Rutherfordton, North Carolina. The beautiful little town with the funny name. So it turns out that General Rutherford was friends with Daniel Boone, so that's pretty cool. And he and his wife also had 10 children, which would explain why he decided to leave the house and go off and start a country. He needed more room, okay? He needed some more space. Either that or maybe it was more peaceful to fight in a war than... I can almost hear you saying, please, enough history, let's check out the bike trail. Okay, let's do that. The Purple Martin Greenway is coming up next. Apparently this Kiwanis Park is a really popular place for photo shoots. I've already seen one bride and two graduates here. And I don't want to get in the way and mess up their photo shoots, so I'm going to take a little break for just a second. I'll just be right over here. So interestingly, here at the intersection of Cleghorn and Charlotte, apparently the trail goes through this uh, somewhat major intersection, but there are no instructions, nothing telling you where to go, what to do, no signage, but that's okay. We trail users are sort of used to that. We'll figure it out, right? Interestingly, it looks like Herbie the love bug is across the street.
Now here is something that you just don't see every day and it sort of sets the Purple Martin Greenway apart a little bit from a lot of other trails. It is a healing garden. There's a mailbox here that says my soul speaks. I'm sure there's a story behind that. Here's the sign talking about the healing garden. It is dedicated to victims of domestic violence. There are flowers, there are picnic tables. So it's a good place to take a break, meditate, pray. And right over here, look, it's a lending library. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lending library. I think I'll just take a break and uh, read a book for a few minutes and then we'll get right back on the trail, I promise. One of the things that I learned while researching this trail is that Rutherfordton, North Carolina was the site of the first ever post office in Western North Carolina. So there you go, you can use that bit of trivia to astound and amaze your friends. We'll be right back to the trail in just a few minutes, but first here's three things I bet you probably didn't know about the Purple Martin Greenway. Number one, there is a dog park just steps away from the trail, if you're into that sort of thing. I'm not, really. I don't have any pets. I do have a bobblehead collection, though. They are a lot less expensive to feed. Number two, the Purple Martin bird first appeared on the family crest of good old General Griffith Rutherford. And now the Purple Martin bird has been adopted by Rutherfordton as a symbol of the history of the town. And number three, there's no hunting allowed on the trail. It says so right there in the rules. And I don't know about you, but it's comforting for me to know that I can walk and ride my bike on the trail without worrying about bullets whizzing by my nose. So if you like this video, then do me a favor and like this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more like it. Got a question for you. Do you obey traffic laws when you're out riding your bike? Because I've got a confession to make. Your boy doesn't always stop for every stop sign. Um, well, let me put it this way. Most of the trails I ride are rail trails, greenways, river walks, that sort of thing. And yeah, there are some crossing streets now and then, but usually you can see what's happening, you can assess the danger and decide, hey, yeah, I need to stop. And so you stop. But most of the time, I think we just sort of uh, take a look to the left and right and pedal right on through. At least that's what I see most people doing, me included. Leave a comment below if you have a uh, strong opinion on this topic. So what's the star of the show here at the Purple Martin Greenway? I'm tempted, as crazy as this sounds, <laughs> I'm tempted to say retaining walls. I mean, they've got some of the best looking retaining walls I've ever seen. Best use of retaining walls. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna go with the covered bridges. I love covered bridges a little more than retaining walls and these covered bridges here at the Purple Martin Greenway are showstoppers.
So what do we think about this trail? Well, here's the thing. It's a short trail and there's no wow factor. You know what I mean? On the other hand, there are some great amenities, a lot of surprises. I've already talked about the bridges and the retaining walls. There's a dog park. There are two city parks on either end of this trail. There are some amazing picnic shelters, places to stop and take a rest, a healing garden, two lending libraries, this thing, this guy. I mean, there's a, there, there really is a surprise around every corner. I've already talked about the bridges and the retaining walls. So at the end of the day, we're gonna give the Purple Martin Greenway three stars. There may not be a wow factor, but it's just nice. You know what I mean? It's just nice.